everybody to another artist talk. Today I have a special guest. She's Andrea Hoffman, an artist, art educator, and juror for the exhibition The Space Between Us. Hi, Andrea. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so you you serve as a juror for the Space Between Us exhibition and um, you were looking for something in particular. I mean, this is an exhibition that I planned where I was organizing exhibitions that were related to space travel or celebration of uh, space exploration. But even the name right now is Space Between Us have a special connotation in the times we live in right now. So I know that you have some thoughts about this. So do you want to share with us? Sure. Um, I started looking as the uh, description of the uh, exhibit asked for was uh, related to space travel. And I tried not to look for the obvious, but maybe some more subtleties. But what I found was there was a lot of work that was addressing the personal space between individuals or between people and the world around them. And that's really interesting. And I remember that I have some artists that were calling me or contacting me because of that. They said, I'm reading the description and it relates to space travel. Uh, but I think I like to play with the title. And that's what I said, a space between us. Hopefully some people will go into that uh, personal relationship. Um, so that, that I'm really glad that you also picked on that. And so are there, do you want to talk about some of the pieces that call your attention as you were making the selection? I mean, we receive a lot of entries and it's very diverse. So do you want to pick on some of the pieces and share with us why they call your attention? So uh, two of the pieces that struck me about space, uh, one of the artists, and I'm looking at my notes, I'm sorry, um, Sam Tilson had done uh, quite a few um, photo setups where uh, it was uh, as if someone was literally an astronaut and he photographed them in different settings. And one of them showed the astronaut in this um, very foreboding scene of black rocks, very dark, and juxtaposed Next to that, there was uh, another artist, Suzanne Barton, who um, had an uh, underwater diver with a cape, like a, a superhero cape in this depths. And the title of the first piece was called Onwards. And I thought both pieces really reflected the concept of space travel of exploring the unknown and pushing through some possibly foreboding places. And that really struck me as a little bit past just space images. And how about the images that relate to the space, the human interrelations? Are there any images that strike you? Yes, yes. Um, Justin Kolasek and Natalia, had done a series of photos that were very profound. They were out of focus and they were, I don't know how to describe, they were sort of cut up and um, mixed up a little bit. But in each of these photos, you can see the images of two people interacting and they were face to face, but they were not able to touch and they were lifting their glasses together. They seemed to have some connection, but some separation too. And um, I thought there really was this, this tension, this space between them that um, they, they weren't quite connecting. What is interesting is that this exhibition will be July through October um, Bailey Contemporary Arts, but we did the call for entries 
months ago. I mean, you made the selection early this year, sometime in January. So it's, it's incredible to find how relevant these images are to this social distancing and the lockdown that we lived. Um, this, this, it seems that these are topics that you know, relate to human nature in any ways. Um, any other examples that uh, call your attention uh, related to social distance? Yes, um, Robert Marazidi, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, he had a series that just really provoked a sense of longing and isolation. And the first was um, a, a road, and you can see down in this uh, vanishing point, this um, sort of road to nowhere. And um, uh, a very faint image up at the top of it uh, where the person moving in that image was thinking of where they were headed. And then his follow-up pieces, um, there was uh, a man swimming alone in the ocean with um, an image, I believe it was a very simple line drawing of a house. And in another piece, he had a boat on the water by itself. And so the boat and the house and the man in isolation and the water, they, they told a story of this longing, this narrative of sort of going towards something and, and trying to um, sort of navigate this isolation. And uh, I, I thought it, it really struck me as a, a social distancing idea before we knew that term. <laughs> the sense of longing. I was looking at some of the, some of the entries and those, those images that relate to human connection, in a way, many of them also have like these negative space I think that maybe yes. that's something that you're related. So we talk about aesthetically about negative space, but uh, the, the sense of longing or sometimes of disconnection is another way that I interpret as a uh, negative space. And it is the space uh, between us um, that, that counts. So um, I'm really excited that you were interested in, in, in including that aspect also in the exhibition. And I, I was thrilled when I start seeing entries that, departed a little bit from the space exploration in itself and included the space exploration among us. So right. Right. That, that, was, that was great. Um, any other thoughts that you may have about the exhibition or what you want to see or what do you want people to take from it as they visit virtually or in person the show? Right. So, um, Getting back to the idea of the space exploration, um, there were two photographs. Uh, one was by Phoenix, and it was um, the Milky Way over the Keys. And then um, the other um, photographer was uh, Seska Veo, and uh, he had the Florida wetlands. And his seemed to sort of have um, a digitally added component of um, this sort of celestial atmosphere in this uh, dark wetlands. And Phoenix's um, photograph had, uh, again, a tree at night sort of illuminated by the night sky that you could see this sort of infinite sky. And I really had a feeling of when you're in this sort of desolate place in nature, that that universe, that infinity of the universe is present. And, um, you know, you'll hear people that uh, do things like camping talk about they can't see the sky as clearly until they go out into these dark places. And I really got that sense of the universe out there from both of these photographs. It puts into perspective also what little speckle we are in this whole universe and puts in our existence into perspective. 
So yeah, I really love um, that image from Phoenix. There's a long exposure and it captures the Milky Way and it's so dark and so beautifully illuminated. It has a great balance as a photo photography. It's amazing. Right. So um, I'm glad you picked that one too. And so Andrea, as a juror, I want to ask you, why was your criteria for narrowing down the selection of these exhibition? We receive over 150 images and uh, I imagine it was hard work. So how, how did you do it? Uh, it, it always is difficult. And the first criteria that I always look for, uh, whether I'm looking at my own work, my students, or looking at during an exhibit, is I look for strong composition. And I look for ways that uh, an artist goes just uh, beyond just technical proficiency. And that whether they're pushing the boundaries of the theme or they're using their materials in an innovative way. Um, I, I look for things, uh, once we've narrowed it down compositionally and technically, then I look for things that have very compelling compositions or themes. And um, I, I actually sometimes will even go to to using a checklist and a sort of a score sheet um, using those criteria. I look for very original concepts and not merely just a um, duplication from a reference point. So uh, putting all those together, you really see uh, the works rise to the top from all those various criteria. That's, that's amazing. It's almost like grand selection. And I appreciate your time uh, in putting this into uh, perspective and putting this exhibition together. And I think that this will be it. I think this is the end of our conversation. Thank you so much for your time, not only during the exhibition, but to spend some time with us, sharing your thoughts about the pieces that like to all that call your attention the most. And um, I hope to see everybody again. Uh, next week in the next Artist Talk. Thank you.